Hello YouTube, this is the next uh, BattleBots toy review, although technically speaking this is not actually a toy based off of a, you know, one of the BattleBots in the TV show. This is Mac Attack. This is actually an exclusive to McDonald's. It was not based on, as I said, not based on any of the BattleBots toys. Because instead, if you look at the top, it's got the McDonald's logo instead, which probably means they made it themselves. Now, it's kind of a clever idea. I mean, I can see what they were trying to go for here. The problem is, I don't think it was well executed. I mean, really, it's very top-heavy. I mean, the wheels underneath really do not support it all that well at all. It's very, I mean, even they tried to add little supports at the back end here, but as far as I can tell, it does not work well at all. I mean, you can see what they tried to do. These patties spin as the, uh, the wheels spin here on the bottom. I don't think it was well executed. It's not very combat-ready at all. I mean, as I said before, it's very top-heavy and it will topple very easily, as I've already found. But it's an interesting concept. I mean, it's kind of too bad that it didn't go with another another battle bot from the show. But it's hard to say what their you know what their uh, rules were. Maybe they could only make seven and had to be one that was not not related, or they had room like okay, we'll give you seven, and then you know since you're the maker, go ahead and make one you know for yourself. Or heck, maybe they didn't even have any restraints on that. And they just decided to make one, kind of make eight, make a nice even number. It works, you know, I mean, I don't know, just my two cents, it probably would be nice to have some sort of, like, some sort of, like, maybe lettuce wedge or, you know, tomato wedge or something in the middle here, maybe. I don't know, that may have affected, that may have, like, would have maybe affected the uh, saws themselves, but I don't know. It would have probably added to the ability to... Like, if this were an actual robot, it would have actually made it easier for the saws to actually do something. Although they are pretty well... You know, given that there are all these, like, little, uh... What do you call it? Notches, maybe, around the sides here. Like, the sides here. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, like, all around this edge here. Doesn't really allow for these saws to really do anything. Although, obviously, this is a safety thing, so... But... You know, obviously, like all the other toys, it doesn't break easily. In fact, it's hard to oh, it's hard to actually open up. I've seen uh, I've seen pictures where these have actually been taken apart, and it's not easy. You probably would break something along the way. That's kind of a clever idea. I mean, it's not well executed, but it was a clever idea. So that's my review on the toy. Thanks.